Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of uh, The Game. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Travels. I was gonna call it Visual Novel, and then I was like, no, it's not Visual Novel, it's Distant Travels, but then they said <laughs> The Game. The game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we start, real quick, I saw the f***ing analytics from the previous episode. You all are a bunch of horny bitches. You wanna tell me something? Do I need to start an OnlyFans? Definitely. Anyway, let's, let's let's unmute ourselves and start this. I have my eye on you. I have my eye on you. Well, I guess the starting point is here. You slowly wake up properly, brush your teeth, and get dressed for the day. You make your way downstairs to grab some breakfast. Hello and welcome. Why to is this there very so many full... people today? They're all replacing Ash. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we need that auditions. many people to replace Ash. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's it's the auditions to replace Ash. I'm here, oh. for, I'm here for the auditions. Okay. Who, who's the most horny? <laughs> that would be From I me. volunteer. Okay. The rest of the Firefly crew... Firefly, yeah. The rest of the Flaming Poultry crew is already there. <laughs> New Wi-Fi version of Firefly. Very fast Wi-Fi. You can, you can connect your fax machine to it. The burning Super Falcon extra ass. fast fax. <laughs> I want the fax. There's not a lot of talking and the excitement seems to have slowed down a little. Now that everything for the journey seems set. You find yourself in a conversation with John and Max. John seems fairly awake this early for someone who sneaks away for naps whenever he can. So, double that dot. John lowers his voice. Mr. Good looking. A wink. Double dot dot. <laughs> he clears his throat. Dot. Double dot dot. What did you think of the entire experience yesterday? He winks at you as he says that. It was a lot of fun. Whoever came up with the idea must have been a genius. It's your turn to wink. It's cheesy, but the bot just smiles at that. <laughs> you seem more relaxed now. Thinking about it, he's right. It's been quite the journey, even though it's just been a few days. You adapt fast. Not a good trait. MC is a switch. We have that confirmed on camera. Adaptability plus 10. There's a saying similar to that, that my parents always used. Kids are spongy. They fall down and spring right back up. <laughs> Unless they fall into the water, yeah. This is so true. <laughs> I don't think that's a me thing. People on Earth always take. People on Earth always take some pride in that we adapt fast to new environments. Nifty. Oh NFT. No. 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 Nifty. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, speaking of adapting fast. Max, just how many slang words did you pick up? Gotta get them oh all. Oh my god. You are at a groan as John raises an eyebrow, seemingly trying to figure out the meaning behind Max's slang. Oh god. Made your way to the 2000s. Oh no! I would. Oh my god! It's I so knew it. This is sing it! Sing it! Sing it! Obvious <sighs> this is. Oh boy, uh, you gotta catch them all, alright? I want to be the very best, the best I ever was. Grown, this this hurts. Like, why did you even? <laughs> why did you do this, <laughs> Max? Why do you do this, Max? Uh. Let me bop you. <laughs> <laughs> this time, you can help but let out a small chuckle. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nervous laugh. What's his name? Max Ketchum. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Ash voices him. It would have been Ash Ketchum. God no. damn it. <laughs> it would have been Ash Ketchum. <laughs> <laughs> what you've done. Now you made it for sense. I hate this so much. <laughs> this needs to end. Hate this time, you can help but let out a small chuckle. More pop culture it is. The Firefly is going to be lively as ever with you there. John lowers his voice a little. Max isn't the only one who's looking forward to it. Wink. Yeah. You too, I That's bet. a double wink. That is a double double wink, definitely. Wink wink. It'll be a new atmosphere. A better mission than looking for help. And new colleagues. Looks like you're not the only one with a lot of introspective thoughts. Perhaps John's also waiting for things to start. Unfortunately, John's going to have to wait until episode 87 when we go to space. Max seems a little more in the moment though. Perhaps that'd be nice to skip past the thinking and being a little more now. But 
That's not you now, is it? Let's try for a little bit. I'm incredibly nervous, but it'll be fun. Why? I mean, you're only going into outer space with a bunch of people who aren't even human. Are we going into outer space? Episode 87. That it's, like a party. <laughs> it's the post credit scene. On an adventure to save a dying world? Nah, no biggie. We Just a smallie. Basically a normal Tuesday, right? Such is the life of our superhero. John drags the word out as he says it, with a hint of teasing in his voice. You guys are old. Oh, Max is like 12. <laughs> Max looks at you. Is this what they call boomer humor? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, You're like stop. a boomer oh humor. <laughs> 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 no. Why? No. Say it. Okay, Zoomer. Max groans. I'll make sure to bring some movies and books for you, Max. There should be a ton of stuff. Please don't. Speaking of movies and electronics, I'm very confident we'll be able to play any media you bring on our devices, especially if you help us with the networking setup. Not sure how networking means being able to play a DVD, but okay. It'd be good to prepare, since that's what I'll be helping with, right? The Badger smiles softly. Precisely. Oh my god, he was, he was a badger. Did you think he was a panda this entire time? I thought, I thought he was a panda. panda. <laughs> I actually thought it was yeah, a panda. Yeah, I wonder why. Computer. With that said, are you going to bring a computer or phone? Dot, double dot, question mark. <laughs> dot double dot question mark. Comma, comma dot double dot question comma mark. Dot, 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 question mark. That would be a good time to ask about your phone. My pahoney. My pahoney. I'll bring a laptop at least. Not sure about my phone. It's fairly pointless without a connection to the internet. Everything is done online. Please bring your phone. Please bring me phone. Bring me phone. I want a phone. You should be able to have an internet connection. It might not always be active, but it should be possible if you show me how your equipment works. That's surprising. You'll have an active connection to Earth? W won't there be massive delays? Unless... Oh Quite my god! How convenient! He smiles. As far as I understand, your internet is just a series of bits, zeros and ones. Setting up an interface that translates that shouldn't be too difficult. I'll set something up before we leave. If it'll make the trip better for you. That's very considerate. Thanks. That'll make a massive difference. I figure if it exists on Arctos, some version of it probably exists on Earth. Creatively, Arctos is probably the world that's lacking. Oh no, Yay! I forgot. Uh... Um... <laughs> so what you say is, is that there will be almost an infinite amount of movies and series for me to watch? I should be able to set something like that up. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. That's Pog! Give me a Pog face, Shim. <laughs> that actually kind of worked. Sean will love that. Sean? Right. John did mention a few of the other crew members before. There's Sean and Sheila, right? And Tom? There were a few others as well, if I recall correctly. There are some hot John and on. Sheila always come and go as a pair. They're basically inseparable at this point. Then there's Geralt. Grumpy old boar and resident strategist. You'll recognize him right away. Don't take him too seriously. He's a softy, but it takes him a while to get there when meeting new people. I'll keep that in mind. Although it's hard to imagine anyone from the firefighting. Uh, get fire firefighting? What the f is a firefighting? <coughs> fire frying. Yes, frying on fire. It's hard to imagine anyone from the fireflies grumpy after meeting you all. John smiles and then lets out a small chuckle. Perhaps we just brought our best to win you over. There's also a few others. Tom, resident shipkeeper. Basically, he's a janitor. He keeps things running smoothly, replaces broken lights and such. It'll probably be more lively than I thought with the amount of people. It's a large bird. Personally, I think it's a good amount. You won't get lonely. Unless you want to be. In which case, somewhere. you can just sneak away somewhere. There's also Rex, Aleph, and Bruce. I doubt you'll run into Aleph much. He's another weapons expert. A mercenary. Damn he mostly keeps to himself, 
unless he needs someone to help him with something. And when he's not working, he's meditating or working out. Unless he's with Mike. It's hard to get to know him, but he's not a bad guy. Max just keeps adding input, but it's nice to get the extra perspective. John seems to be thinking for a second. Sorry, I was thinking for a second. <laughs> <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> thinking about it, you two might get along actually. You have the same feeling of calm. John says. And there's Rex. I think you get along well. He has the same thing you seem to do sometimes, but you're inside your head more than in the real world for a bit. How do you even respond to that? You're not wrong. You'll like him. He's a nice guy. Very, very philosophical. Oh god, please hide the whiteboard. You pass out. And the <laughs> conversation continues with more comparisons between your different cultures. You scurry to the nearest Pokemon Center. Shut the f up. <laughs> Eventually, it fizzes down to youth. Ad eventually, it. Eventually, it fizzles. Eventually, it fizzles down to you finish your breakfast no. in good company. What? And. And you fin. Oh, I thought I thought it said to you finish it. I thought it was wrong. Eventually, it fizzles down to you and. No. The <laughs> uh. <laughs> eventually, it fizzles down and you. 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 Breakfast in the breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Eventually it fizzles down and you finish your breakfast in good company. Yay. Thank you. Clap. Thank you. The trip back to Broadtown. Isn't that the nickname for your shoulders? Do <laughs> 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 you know the <laughs> white Putin meme or whatever? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the trip back to Broadtown and to your hotel feels surreal. It's like you've made a lot of new friends in a very short time. It's almost like you actually made a few friends in a short time. The people around you feel less like colleagues to be and more like friends you want to help. It's refreshing, but returning home has an odd effect on you. It's like you return to the inside of your head again and just wait for things to start. Things happen outside and your body moves, but your mind is somewhere else in the future. A journey to a distant <laughs> world. I'm sorry, I thought it said furniture and I was... <laughs> Confused. <laughs> a journey to a distant world with new people, a new start, and some time to reflect on everything behind you. And when you get back, you have a chance for another new start. Kind of like waiting for the storm to hit, was it? And then seeing what lies beyond. No, okay, you no. can <laughs> sorry. No. sorry, sorry. I don't get the joke. Good, don't, don't explain to him. I he don't get it either. Know. The day goes by fast, and before you know it, you are on your way back to the airport. It's a little less ceremonious this time. Eventually, you take a seat on the plane. It's been a wild ride. Oh my god! Oh my god! Airplane! airplane. <laughs> so is this the Burning Falcon? <laughs> Despite not going anywhere far away, it feels like your world has changed. It was that easy, huh? Didn't even need to actually go to another world to feel it. Perhaps it was mostly the people around you that changed? A change in environment, if you will. Who are you talking okay. to now, right? What, what, what are we doing, actually? <laughs> I wonder what it'll be like once I actually get there. If we ever get there. Perhaps like this, but with less regrets. There's too many layers to this. Like an ogre. Like an onion. Like an onion. Like no, an onion. okay, <laughs> I got, I've been punished. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Stop overthinking, was it? You rest your eyes once more, and before you know it... We crashed. Oh. <laughs> we hope you have... Uh, <laughs> you make your way out of the plane, and towards the arrival hall. I see coffee. Although it looks like it says OOFY. <laughs> <laughs> it Jake. should say lorem ipsum. It does look like it says OOFY! <laughs> Jake, <laughs> why do you curse every single background in this game? Like every single one of them. What? No, I just. A nice warm I just, cup there of was just a lot of Ipsum, and now there's Oofy. <laughs> Julia should be here in a bit. Might as well find a place to sit for a minute before she gets here. As soon as you finish your thought, you spot Julia across the arrival hall. She's waving to get your attention. Some things never change. Some things. Like your balls. Did they change? 
I, don't, I, I have not been working out my balls, so I, I don't think they've gotten any bigger. Sorry. <laughs> Stretching exercises like, for your balls. You know, people actually do do that. It, 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 they it do. They, just, they, just, they hang stuff from them. It, it freaks me out. It's like, ah, ooh, <laughs> no. They reach their knees. It'd be very awkward. Like, if you sit down, you'll just actually <laughs> sit on it all the time. Oh, no. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Everyone stop. Stop. You can no more ride a bicycle. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, gonna, no it's gonna get stuck Imagine in the wheel! Already. <laughs> get stuck in the spoke! <laughs> After greeting her and assuring her that you're right, more than once, you make your way out of the airport alongside Julia towards her car. Whoa! The car goes to space, oh, what the f***? Me. <laughs> oh, that's vain. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was for stars! <laughs> Jake, <laughs> it's supposed to be it's space. It's like the same animation. What it will be. What We're so <laughs> close to it. It's like a day away. As you exit the airport, rain is slowly falling down. This reminds me of looking up towards the moon at night. It's a lofty thought, romantic at that. At some point, there's definitely someone else, somewhere else, looking up at their moon. Put some moon pants on. We can't see your moon. <laughs> oh, that's what they mean by to the moon. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, it's a story about deep throat. Some other night at some other place, thinking the same thing. It has the same feel, looking up towards the rain like this. Somewhere, someone else is looking up towards their rain, probably thinking something similar. Humans are weird like that, always looking for connections and signs. It is kind of comforting. <sighs> I can't help but get nostalgic on grey days like these. It's like if the world is saying that this chapter is over and a new one is starting. I think it's saying that we reached the end of this episode. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys had uh, something. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <And> something. <laughs> what the fuck is this outro? <laughs>